Mayor, do you believe there are services provided by the city of Weir that could be privatized? And if so, which service would you consider outsourcing? We've been talking about privatizing for 20 years, and, and no, I do not believe in privatizing. We've looked at it a half a dozen times with the uh, garbage. We privatized the um, commercial end of it. I've never gotten back to see if it's, it's a uh, fruitful thing for the, uh, the commercial accounts, but we got out of that. That was beneficial to us. I, I think that it would, hurt the senior, the, it would hurt the citizens more if we privatized garbage. I do not feel as though that the Public Works Department should be privatized only because the private, when you privatize something, you lose that, that everyday, everyday operational type of, uh, of work that they do. Uh, I, no, I am not in favor of privatizing anything. No, I understand the question, and I, and I somewhat agree with the mayor. We did do a study when I was on council, that taking a look at the dumpsters for commercial. Uh, I know what I pay, and I know what some of the other businesses pay, and some have larger dumpsters than I have. And uh, but I was told that it had been tried and failed in the past. That is one area where you would like to, uh, if any, go private because of the, the the amount of volume that's involved. But the tipping fees, too, are a, a lot more. And so uh, uh, I agree that it's, it's difficult to do that. Um, there could be possibilities of other things uh, that, that we do that could be privatized. But um, uh, one of them, if the senior center, get back on the senior center, couldn't make it, you may want to privatize it because you know, beginning about four years ago when I turned 65, I was astounded by the number of people for the next 19 years is going to turn 65. 10,000 a day are turning 65 years old. Now, that's going to increase the volume at the senior center. And it's going to increase the volume at the hospitals, and it's going to increase the volume of the physical therapists and a lot of other, other facilities. Uh, and you have to keep that in mind, that we have to prepare for that like the federal government's preparing for it. I don't know how many will be affected in our community, but 10,000 a day are turning 65 and have been since 19, for the last four years and will continue for the next 15 years. 